Okay, YouTube. Good afternoon. Um, this is your boy Omar. I never told you guys my name. I'm sorry for the late introduction. I'm a Jamaican. We tend not to have manners. I'm sorry about that. I can't do nothing about that. All right. So the E46 that I have for sale, I'm fixing it. Well, I'm fixing it up so I can sell it. Um, it we bought it. We bought it with um, no AC. Starting problem. We start sometime. Don't start. We, we take. We took care of that. Um, the coolant problem was overheating, took care of that. Um, and I find a small vacuum leak the other day because I, I still had a um, check engine light on from its firing and I just did gasket and I did a valve cover gasket and you guys know I did a valve cover gasket too. I did that and what else I had done? Um, yeah, I did that. And I changed spark plug and coil. Still missing all bash, bash everything. I'd recommend it, the OEM. So you know, it shouldn't be misfiring. Car, car is driving more steady, less shaking. It's not shaking as it used to. But um, yes. So I find a small um, hose, a small vacuum leak, which. I didn't know it was on the car. <laughs> the reason why I find out that vacuum leak is because I see some ta some tape was hanging from somewhere. So I was wondering where are these tapes coming from. You know what what's the purpose of this tape? What what is it taping up? <laughs> you know. So I thought it was some wire. You know, somebody maybe tapping into some wire or something. So I went to look because I'm a literature So I was you know I said let me check it out to see if you know they did a good job or whatever it is. So I go when I look, there's the tape. Um, was oh I got the, I got the part right here when I get to the next stoplight I picked up and show you guys um, yeah so there was a tape holding up something and the and that um, vacuum hose that's why I have these random uh, misfires so I'm gonna show you guys for the BMW the most common place on your BMW to leak right here this vacuum hose right here right here this right here they break easy you would never know that's a break because of all these lines you don't even see where it's break where it's broken so always check them check that out and be careful when you check it because it's also easily broken to get to that hose you have to take off the intake manifold do not try to go around that and it's good if you can take off the disser valves too the disser valve on top of the intake manifold now not the intake manifold you don't have to take off the intake manifold i'm sorry the um the intake itself you gotta take off the the, 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 the intake the filter and all yeah take that off to get to that um you know but i mean you're gonna take off the, this just take off the top part first where the sensor at where the where you have your um what is that sensor called the mass flow sensor take off that part first and then you know you're gonna have that whole hose and you can know if you sh if you if you have to take it off or whatever but i would recommend you take it off you know so you don't break nothing so we're at the, 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 um, we're almost at the harbor bridge we're out here so see you guys at harbor freight